Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I've been doing a uh, hashtag 31 days of creep and I've been drawing and everything, but I haven't um, been doing much mixed media, I guess. So I have, I have coming up tomorrow a video on pre-pre mixed media. And I'm going to do that tomorrow for everybody who's new and for anybody who wants to watch it. But today I'm going to sit and play because um, I've been kind of cleaning up and whatnot and finding things that I want to finish up. And this is my uh, Gypsy Girl that I did, I don't know, a couple months ago, I guess. And I want to put her on a canvas. Why is she not focusing? All right. Okay. It's going to be one of them. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to be putting her on a canvas and um, with the saying and all, but I got to, you know, do a background and also I thought I'm going to come on and do a background while I do this. So um, here we go. I'm going to do, I want to do purple and golds with a little bit of red and a little bit, you know, of that kind of thing because I think that... That will go with this really good. I really dig purple and reds, so that's what I'm gonna do. I will try my best to remember to link the video of me drawing her and everything down below, um, but you can just search Gypsy Gypsy Girl, you know, on my uh, account as well, which I'm gonna be doing a video on that too because a lot of you ask um, where you know, like where certain videos are. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to film it so you guys can see exactly how to uh, search my channel or anybody's channel for that matter and find different things. Okay, so I want this to be kind of shiny and all that kind of thing. Um, the whole background, I want it to be sparkly, but not too sparkly. So I'm going to use a iridescent uh, medium, which, um, the heck do I do with it? Okay. I got it. So I'm going to shake it up. You can find iridescent mediums in so many different, um, so many different uh, brands. This is Liquitex. And I'm just going to squirt a little bit on there. I'll show you the bottle. Um, but it's iridescent medium. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to go through a lot of my old stuff, um, older paints and all to, you know, because they're good quality paints. I spent a lot of money on them, so I don't want them to go bad. So anyway, so you can see, let's see if you can see how shiny it is. Probably not a little bit, but it's deliciousness. And I'm going to take a big paintbrush. And I'm not going to wet it. I'm just going to keep everything dry. And I'm going to dip in here and then go here and then dip. And I'm just going to kind of keep mixing it with the other colors. And then I'm just going to go to town. And I'm going to concentrate on the edges because I know that I'm going to have a big, um, a big center gypsy head on here. So... I want to make sure I get these edges, but you don't have to worry too much if you know exactly. What, now, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put her, uh, either whether it's going to be in the middle or the side, but uh, right now I'm just playing. Okay. And you'll probably see a couple videos up today or tomorrow because I have a few that I really that have just popped up that uh, I want to do for people that are asking questions that are fairly easy to uh, talk about or show so I'm gonna kind of put them up all right so I have my purple I'm gonna rinse my brush and I think what I'm gonna do is take a paper towel and I'm just gonna and you can use a rag I have rags around here like old rags that just aren't good to use anymore and I rip them up and I use those as well and they end up in the the wash with the dog towels because <laughs> um, this is all I use them for but this is just a paper towel and a lot of you guys you know you use your paper towel in your art as well so if you can see all this delicious look at this color and I'll just keep 
drawing it and using it. And then you have these great pieces that you can glue to your canvas. So, or art journal or whatever you're doing. I don't like to waste too much. I'm the older I get, the worse I get on wanting to waste things. I just don't want to. Um, okay. So I'm going to leave that down to like that. And I'm going to grab a stencil and because for me, um, you know, I want to be a gypsy. Can't help it. I want to travel. I want to do things. So I'm going to use this uh, Andy Skinner mixed media stencil and it is industrial elements. Now, what I'm going to do in lieu of using gluing down papers and all, which I do a lot in the mixed media, I'm going to use that. And as you can see, I'm going to lay that on there. You can see that it's just really great words. Um, Ticket travel, uh, oil pressure, I have no idea what that means, but it doesn't matter because it's going in the background. Journey, you know, like, so a lot of these words um, I want because why not, right? So I'm going to take some, um, some of my, you know what, I'm going to use crackle paste. I'm just going to use paste. You can use modeling paste, molding paste, whatever you call it. Um, and I'm going to use just this crackle paste because it's basically the same thing. And if I get a little crackles, I'm going to be happy. Um, now let me find, I, I have not been doing mixed, mixed media. So it's been a little, a little off for me. I miss it and I miss my tools that I obviously cannot find. All right, but we don't have to, there we go. So I'm just going to take some of this any kind of paste. I'm going to have a video coming up. I promise, promise. I keep promising and y'all keep uh, requesting for me to do video on making your different pastes. So I'm going to be doing that. I got, uh, that's coming up. All right. Anyway, so you can see, I'm just smearing this on any paste you're using. If you don't have paste, use your paint, use a thicker paint. I tell people, and you know, I'm going to be selling these things. So I like to use um, things that I know uh, aren't going to, I don't know, I guess change is the word I want to use, like that are more archival, I guess. Um, but you can take a little bit of uh, your gesso and you can add some baby powder to it. Or you can use a little bit of, and I'm going to do a video on this, but I'm just going to let you guys know this right now. Or you could take a little bit of your... Uh, Oh, plaster of Paris or whatever, and add it into your plain gesso to thicken it up a little bit to use it as this. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna do a video on it and, and do everything so you guys can see it. But oh, did you see that squirt across? How cool is that? <laughs> I don't want you anyway. You can squirt all you want, buddy. All right, you can see them. And I'm not worrying too much if it's spot on because it's just gonna add me texture. But if any of, you know, anything comes sticking out and then I scrape it because I want to get that extra off and then you just kind of lift it up and you get that great, that great, uh, what the heck is that? Well, and I'm just smearing it where it's chunky at, like on the edges. Cause I don't like that being on the edge. I want it to be a little, so I'm just going to spread it there and look how cool that looks. Now I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to move it over on this side because I have a little bit extra here that I didn't get. So I'm going to, you know, just kind of do this, stick it back in because that's what she said. All right. And I'm just doing this. So many of you doing the 30 days, hashtag 30 days, 31 days of creep. Hello, Kelly. Do you have a brain? Not today. Not today. Um, so I'm thrilled. But if you guys want to start now or do even just a couple this month, you don't have to do every single day. Do a day. Do whatever. Think outside your bo your normal box and, and do something cool or in your box. Maybe some of you, you know, that is in your box. But uh you can do it whenever you want, but everybody who's doing it, I just love everything that they're doing. And I'm going to do shout outs for everybody too. And I said before, I've been putting everybody, sharing everybody who's doing it everywhere because I want them to, I want people to see them. I want them to get more subs so people can see how wonderful they are. 
and all their different kind of art because we're all so different. We do things differently, our art differently, the way we communicate differently. And, um, you know, so I really want to just spread everywhere the love. Now I'm just going to take this and kind of, and this is going to give me some texture. You can see and just run that through. Okay. Now, you know, this is from Deco Art Media, and I love this stuff. It's crackle. They have crackle gel. They have crackle this. They have crackle. It's just all delicious. But I'm not using all their paints today because, like I said, I, I love their stuff so much, um, and I use it all the time. But today I really am trying to use up a lot of these paints here. And they're good to use to sell paints too, using the deco art. That's definitely uh, good to do as well. So I'm going to take this. This is a piece I did. I did a print off of uh, print off on, and I'm going to lay my stencil down backwards, and I'm going to take my paper towel, and I'm going to wipe. Again, use whatever you have. And I'm just trying to get that off because I don't like leaving too much of a texture on my stencils because it can dry and morph the stencil out a bit. I mean, it doesn't, I love texture, so it doesn't bother me too, too bad. But, uh, you know, I just like to share the love. And look, can you see? I don't know how well you can see that under there. Look at all that. I mean, that's going to have great texture after it's dry. And then I just lay it down and give it another quick wipe. You can spray it with your water bottle. Or some people put a little container next to them. You can see how fast it dries. Deco art products dry so fast. They're wonderful. All right. So that's good for that. And then a little more on the back here just to, yep. That is good. Set that right there. And I'm going to take my hair dryer. <laughs> Because my heat gun, of course, is broke, but you know what? My hair dryer has been doing it for me. So I'm not going to complain. Yeah, it blows everything off my desk. I love it. All the little eraser bits. I will be back when this is dry. Okay, so now we're all dry. And look how cool that, that looks cool just like this. Doesn't it? Wouldn't that look cool just to hang up like this or even to mix the uh, model, modeling paste, molding paste, crackle paste, whatever, in, um, in with a color and do it like this. This would just look like with just wonderful words. I'm gonna have to make a stencil with all kinds of cool words. Let me know down below any uh, words that you would like to have on a stencil. I never find them um, how I like the words that I want. Like on here, for instance, there's a journey and um, there was another word. I don't think it showed up good. Inspire, you know, certain words, um, but airmail and there's a few other ones that I did. You know, for this is going to work perfectly because she's a gypsy in the sense. But for me, I'm going to have to find words. Let me know down below words because I'd like to make this with just some cool words. Okay, anyway, enough of me blabbing. Look at that, how it's crackled. Let's see if you can say it. Look at that. It's exactly what I wanted. And you can see it in all of the thicker. Now, you can see I did thicker and thin. Um, look at the crackles in there. Oh, what I want to roll around naked on this. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. So you can see like here, like these are, uh, there's not too much uh, bulk on them. What word do I want to say? Texture, I guess. You know, it didn't come up, uh, 
with a lot of texture, but I like this because it's ghost in effect. So when I put stuff on top, you know, you're going to see some of that and it's really awesome. So think about doing your mixed media canvases, you know, this way without having to uh, always do all the papers and tissue. You know, I love doing like that. I can go 10, 10 layers on there easy. Um, so, you know, this is just a little bit of uh, crackle paste and uh, or molding paste or whatever and uh, paint. So, you know. I wish you guys could see the, I know, I'm like, here, look, look. Anyway, okay, let's continue, shall we? Okay, so I know she's going to be on here. And I just don't know what side. Like, if she's going to be on this side. I don't know. Let's go on with the next color. So I want to do purple and golds. Um, I want to do a, excuse me one second. I hope that you can't see anything inappropriate. Okay, so I'm going to take some metallic Inca gold. And I'm going to shake it up. Now I don't want this to be everywhere on here because I still want the purple to come out. So I do have other colors and I have a darker uh, purple and all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just squirt some of that on there. You can see it's a very, very uh, mica-y beautifully. I'm gonna take some of it and I'm gonna go and start putting it on here. Some of the edges, this is just like some of that molding paste that we put on there with no texture. Okay, so with no stencil rather. So I think I'm just gonna kind of go for it here. Cause I don't want it to necessarily be so white underneath. But I still want that purple to come out in certain places too. So I'm gonna Hit that up. Oh, it just looks so good. Then I'm gonna, can you tell I just, I love doing art. I can't stand it. I'm gonna wipe some of it off. And then I'm gonna add some of the Americana Multi-Surface Metallic Gold. I'm gonna shake it real good because it has a little bit of a satin sheen to it. And I don't necessarily, this is going to be a darker one. Oh yeah, look how much darker. Oh yeah. And you can see I'm just kind of putting it in certain places, not going to worry about it too much where I'm putting it. Now, whatever we put on this, all right, let me do down here, sir. I'm going to kind of put it on here and then wipe it and see if you guys can see what I, uh, yeah. It would work better with a darker color and I'm going to put purple on it, but let me see. I'm in my head. I'm sorry if I'm not. Let's see if you can see how it gets into the crackles. Uh, how close can I go? Yeah, you can see down there. See how it settles in the crackles? Now, obviously, darker colors are going to work better. But I just want some of this gold around, and I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. And I'm going to cover cover my paint because I will definitely drop it. Now I want to go in with a darker purple. And I used a, what color are you? Brilliant purple. Now I'm going to go in for a perfect purple. You can see the difference. This one's a little darker. And that's what I'm going to use now. And I'm going to open it. Mm. There we go. And I'm not going to worry about she, uh, doing my brush off. I'm just going to throw that there. It's a delicious sound, isn't it? Oh, yeah, look at that. That's going to give us some good crackle tech texture there. And I'm just going down 
a little bit. I'm going to rub it in here. Mix it with some of that gold because that's going to give you a nice uh, sheen and color. it through here so it kind of blends a little bit and you can water your paint down a little bit if you want depends on how you want it I always like to clean my brush off and that'll add some there there are no rules with mixed media that's the thing that I love and what draws me to it so much is there's just no rules it's just mixing up different things to kind of get that end result that you want. All right, so now I'm going to take my paper towel again and just, I know that there's purple here and I'm just going to try to wipe off the parts that are up a little bit so you can see the crackle. Yeah, I can see it right there real nice. Look at that in the Come on now. Yeah, can you see the crackle? How it's kind of showing up in the words and on top here, let's wipe this a little bit more. Let's see if that helps. See the crackle on the ends, look at the words. Oh, I love it, I love it. I just don't even know if it's getting as beautiful as it is. I hate when the cameras don't do what they're supposed to do. All right, anyway, I'm not gonna sit here and keep you staring at this, but I just, I love it. Look at that. Okay, enough, I know. I know. A little too much holding it at the camera. I get it, I just love it. This is great too right here. I don't know. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> going on my journey here. All right. So I did all that and I got the background basically covered and I'm going to decide now where I'm going to put her. So I think I'm going to put her on this side only because the way I drew her, this is more bulky on this side. If I put her on this side, it's, I don't know. I just don't like it over there as much. I don't know why it just isn't. I'm just really liking her here. So now what I'm going to do is instead of, uh, I'm not going to glue her down yet, but I am going to take, and I'm going to use red, but you can use a regular pencil or whatever, or, or you can use your mind and not do like this, but I'm going to kind of draw a little bit around where she's going to be so I can see it. And I'm going to continue on with some more mixed media around here, but there's no sense me putting anything in here. She's a big part that's going to go here and it's not going to be seen, um, which makes me sad for some of these crinkles, but that's just the fun of mixed media. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab red and I'm going to add a little bit of red in it because I want to bring some of that red from her hat, from her uh, scarf, but I don't want the red to necessarily be right here where she's going to be. I'm going to kind of keep it, you know, around the outside a little bit. And I'm just going to use my finger and add a little bit on there. This is just red medium. And I'm just going to add just little reds, a little bit of red. And you can water it down if you want to. I just, you know, I can go down and I can make them go a little uh, further in the back later. But right now I'm just kind of going to add it in. If I put a little more gold on that later, it will definitely um, go more in the background, which is might be what I want, might not. If you don't like using your fingers, some people don't, use your paintbrush. Use whatever you want. That's the point, is just do whatever way you want. I like using my fingers, but, you know, yeah, I can see, I think right here, I'm going to hit this five up. Now watch, if I take a little bit of water on my brush, see how it kind of blends it out a little bit? 
And you can do that if that's what you want done. I love the way purple and red are together. I'm just kind of running around, liquefying it a little bit, spreading it out a little bit more. And the reason I trace this with red, and you can do a, you can use a um, paintbrush, you can use a crayon, you can use whatever you want, because I'm using red because it's going to just add, if any of it does show, which it probably won't, but if anybody, any, anybody, if anybody, <laughs> if anyone would pay mind to it and see that there's a red outline or something, um, it wouldn't matter because it just looks like it's part of the red, you know, on here. So I'm just going to kind of pat it down, take some of it away. Do I want a little bit more? I don't know. I don't know. I need some, I'm going to need something here, but I think red's going to be too much with that. How about a little uh, metallic sequin black, which is essentially black uh, glitter paint. Let's put a little black in here. I'm just going like this, and I think that's even going to be too much, so I'm going to just tap it a little bit. And I just want to run it. It's just, I mean, this is what we're talking about here. A little bit more here. Now that might be too much, and that's all right. I'm going to put water on it to kind of spread it out a little bit. But I want it kind of just a little bit everywhere. I want it to look like that, but I want it to be, I'm going to finish this with, um, Sparkle, a sparkle coat, I think, on top. Yeah, I just want it. All right. Let me wet my brush. I think a little bit more up there. You just want all those colors. But look, guess what? If you don't want, like black and you don't want black on there, don't do black. I'm going to just water it down just a little bit. I know that's going to be covered, but I need a little bit right there. So I'm just going to take my brush. And add a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to pat it. It's going to take up, it's going to leave enough, but take up a little bit of, yeah. Oh, I like, oh God, I love it. I love it. It just looks so good and I love it. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue down that picture. So I'm going to grab my decoupage matte medium. I'm going to give it a shake a little bit. I want to make sure it's shaken, not stirred. And I can see basically where my line is. So I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit around those corners where that red is, because I can see that's where. And this is something I do now. I, I wasn't doing it before, uh, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Due to medications and uh, stuff that I have going on with my head that just doesn't always, <laughs> always work that well, I've had to adapt a few things lately. And uh, this is one of them how I glue things on, because I want to make sure that everything is glued down good. But I can't, I would end up spending so much product, using so much product in here. Um, and you can even go further and, and map out and do this in the beginning where you don't waste your product in here. You know, for me, it was just, that's fine. That doesn't bother me. But wasting all the paint all around here and spending that time more than anything um, for it really not to be shown, you know, I just try to map myself out a little bit better, if that makes sense. And if you have issues like I do, maybe this would help you as well. Maybe you struggle because uh, I can't visually visualize. <laughs> I can't visually visualize. But you can see I got that whole outline full of glue, and that's what I want. And I'm going to really do it around these edges one more time. I'm just going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it. All right. Okay. So I'm going to leave my brush to here in case I need it again. And then I'm going to pick her up. And I'm going to lay her down. I'm taking her right to the edge. And you can see it hits all the areas. And I'm just going to push it. 
push it real good. Mm -hmm. But you got to push it because it's going to get sticky. And it dries clear, so if you accidentally get some on there, it's no big deal. I'm looking in there to make sure it's kind of on point. Okay, I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds. I'll probably have to go with more glue, but I'm not worried about it as long as most of it sticks down. I'm just going to... You can use your brayer if you want, if you think that that'll help you uh, hold it down or push it more or whatever. This is exciting, isn't it? Very exciting. <clears throat> but I love the background. And like I said, the glue is going to dry clear, so it's not going to... bother anything even though you can see it now it's good because then you can see where it's at and you can wipe it off if you want with a little bit of uh, water on a paper towel or your art rag you definitely can wipe it off right now I'm just gonna try to get this glue down the best I can Come on. Now I'm going to show you a trick. And what I'm going to do first is, I have all these tricks lately, I don't know. I'm fancy like that. I'm going to wipe off a lot of this glue on this outside. And you don't have to, but I just don't want it to stick to anything. So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Okay inside these neck and then I'm going to turn this over make sure it's clean underneath and I'm going to leave it like this so it just has contact for a few seconds and then when I come back you'll see uh, where we're going next okay so she is glued down so now I want to touch up her face a little bit I'm going to use some Santa's flesh from Ceramco and a small brush. So I'm going to touch up just a little bit and then I'll touch up her hair and go from there. I'm just kind of putting this on to any, any scratches because like I said I'm going to um, spray on top with some glitter so it's not going to matter too much but I just want to kind of Touch up a few things. Make that easy. Never get worried when you're doing it. If you make, you know, I scratched it with my ring. And I looked at it and I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to touch that up. Because I was holding it down and moved my hand and it scratched a little bit, which, you know, at the end of the day, it's not anything major, but I'm just going to kind of go in like that and touch it up. And you can see I'm avoiding the black that I drew on there, although it's going to, it's a Sharpie, it's a thin Sharpie. Those are fantastic. Uh, it's permanent, but I don't want to cover them. So I can see, I'm just kind of, there we go. And that's it. Very simple. Oh, my stomach's growling. I just ate a couple crackers. How can that happen? So now, like I said, I think I'm going to work on the eyes a minute. I'm going to add a little bit of gold to them. They're green, but I'm going to add a little bit of gold. And I want a small brush, teeny little brush like that. Hello, little brush. And a little bit on. And I'm just going to 
touch it in. Dry brush. I'm just going to tap it down. That much. Let me move in. Maybe you guys can see a little bit better as I'm working there. Okay. And then I'm going to just wipe the brush off. I'm on a paper towel. I'm not going to um, put it in, you know, to uh, wash it off. I'm going to take some of my, I'm going to use the uh, metallic sequin black. Because, I mean, obviously, I'm just giving her a little bit of some. And I'm just going to touch the tip of it <clears throat> in, if you can see. And go ahead and do the eye pupils. To get them a little darker. Now you can see this one I pulled down a little too much. So I'll just pull this one down. And I can go back with the green and touch all that up after. Having the hands with which most of a lot of you know can be a little hard. But that's okay with that. Now I'm gonna rinse it off because I don't want to have black. <clears throat> on the little bit of my eyebrow or eyelid rather. So I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, English Red Oxide. I'm going to shake it. And this is from Deco Art Media. They're fluid acrylics. They are awesome. And I'm just going to take the littlest bit and I'm going to just kind of put it in here a little. her. I'm going to get it down. Okay. That's one. I like it darker like that. When I wear makeup, I have the eyes on. Um, <clears throat> so I like it a little more pronounced, but you can definitely leave this part out or do it lighter. It all depends on what you like. But on her, I'm going to give it to her. Give it to me now. Give it to me now. All right. So I'm good with that. The underneath looks good. Okay. That's it on those. I like the shine. I don't, you can't really see it on there, but I like the shine that that green gold gave. And I will fix the eye pupils with, actually I'm going to probably fix it with my Faber-Castell uh, once it's dry. And that has to dry. Do I want to put more on the hair or do I just kind of want to, just kind of maybe want to leave it like that. I don't, uh, once I spray it, it's going to, it's not going to matter all that. So I'm going to put on it, I'm going to, when I'm done, I'm going to put a highlight in each eye and then I'm going to put a quote. So the quote I'm going to use, I'll put these away right now. So they're on my way for a second or move them out of my way this way. And I'm going to use a paint pen and I think I'm going to use it. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick, stick with black. I think I'm going to stick with the black. This is a very simple mixed media. Uh, so, all right. So now what I want to do, oh, all right. They hear me talking and then they start barking. All right. So I'm going to put this here. All right, I'm gonna put, she can no longer deny the gypsy in her soul. So we gotta fit all that on here. So I'm gonna probably start up here. Oh, this is delicious, this, oh gosh. 
So should I do it in, let's wear that. I'm gonna do it lightly in a pencil. A pencil, Kel, pencil. So I know she could, I'm going to go over it with the marker just so I can make sure it's straight and on there, could, but I don't want it perfect because not what I'm going for. No. Longer. All right, so now to copy that right there. Okay. So this is going to be a bit odd because I have to have it towards me to write, but it's all right. That's weird. I can't, I, I could see it in the light, but I can't see it there. All right, here we go. She could. longer. All right. And then we're going to have to do the bottom. Where else am I going to pawn it? She can no longer deny. I'll do it here. Deny. The. I have so many of these paintings. I do gypsy paintings. Gypsy. I love this saying. I'm going to put in her. I'll put soul here. That's how I want it. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, deny. her okay. so that's what it's gonna say and then I'm gonna go in with this I think and make these a little bigger and then I'll make the eyes. I'll make the green a little bit bigger and it goes in there. So they're not so big, but I'm going to let that dry because that's kind of what I want. So I, I just, I like it. Like I said, I'm going to finish it with glitter because I just think it needs a little bit of glitter. This I'm going to decide on. I don't know. I think it's, it's going to be fine once, once I color it. And then I got to just give her her white white uh, highlight in her eye and I think I'm going to trace this here a little bit more Oh, 
Where is my glitter spray? I'll have to find it. All right. So this is the last part of this. And I just put it together. Like I said, I love it. I got to let it dry. And then I'm going to coat it with the, uh, the glitter topping because like I said I want this to have a sheen to it I want it to have a little bit of glitter because I enjoy glitter and I think that it'll help with the background just make it that much better um and then I'm going to highlight these with a little bit of white nothing major just a little highlight here and there in each letter and then she's done so you can find her on my Etsy um I have a lot of them going up and uh she will be another one so I'll put a picture in somewhere to show you what uh, she looks like when she's done. So thank you for sitting with me while I do this and I just talk randomly about nothing important. Um, but I love doing this and um, I love you guys so much and be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye guys.